try to back up a bit. So I have the 200 to 600 lens in my backpack. If birds or anything else appear, I will change to it. This is a pretty nice. The light is very nice. I'm gonna see if I can find a composition later in the water so I can have some slow shutter speed shots. They're always fun to do. Look at the sand, it's very nice. I like this. The sand is like frozen and the uh, the texture is very cool okay i have to choose get up in this very nice green forest or walk beside the water the water i think and i walk beside the water for a little while. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Need a fast shutter speed though. Kinda looks like fire. What happens if we go for slow shutter speed? Okay. I'm gonna go super low. Wow, I really like that shot. That's very nice. So I really like this lens. So it's 18 to 135 millimeter and it's made for the APC system. So I I guess, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's equivalent to a full frame lens being 27 to 202 ish. So it's a very like a versatile lens. You can you get a fairly wide view and a lot of zoom. But uh personally for shots like this, I would prefer an even wider like wide angle so maybe having uh i don't know 10 to 18 or what it is but uh it's really nice to be able to zoom all the way into 135 that is very nice oh look at the light <laughs> we're gonna have a one wide shot 
Boom. Oh, wow. Something I really like here. Look at how this is in the shade, so it's all it's some snow and frost, but in the the sunlight it looks warm and springy. <laughs> I really like that. Need to capture it. Uh, now we would need an even wider view. You know what? It's actually worth changing to a so just for this shot I need to change to the 14 millimeter G Master. I'm gonna have the 14 millimeter on for a little while to take some uh, long exposures. It's really nice to have a very wide view when, when doing that. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, so yeah, we need to have a slow shutter speed. Like that maybe. Then we can change the aperture to like f14, 16. We're gonna go for a five second timer, so when I press the shutter, the camera will start to wobble and then it's great to have this timer of five seconds so the the photo is taken right now without any wobble for me like pressing the shutter that's nice are we sharp oh yes we are that's great let's go so i'm back back with the 18 to 135 again this is perfect for kingfishers to nest in so they build like tunnels they are pretty deep into the sand with a little, uh, what do you call it, chamber <laughs> inside where they lay the eggs and so on. It's very cool. I've been using the A6700 now for a while and I am making a review of it as we... Sp There's the dipper! Oh yes! This is uh, great. The dipper is here, nice. He's sitting in stream. Let's not scare it away. of this so the, the good thing with the NAPC camera is the reach you can reach so far away you can see we can sneak closer to it so he was sitting on that <laughs> it's like I'm on a zoo or something look at that that's our little dipper and <laughs> And he is being right here, that's funny. I'm gonna try to locate it and then just wait for it when I see it. So it's the 70 to 200 2.8 would be a better choice in this scenario when it's when we're in the shade like this. So I can see it again. This looks very nice.
So, but first I want to quickly show you this new project from PGY Tech, who also wanted to sponsor this video. So with cameras like this, recording in 4K, 10 bit, 120 FPS, you fill up memory cards. So you really have to bring a lot of them. And PGY Tech recently released the generation two of their CreateMate card reader case, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you. So it's like an all-in-one solution for your memory cards. So it's not only like a very robust IP54 memory card case, it also works as a super fast card reader. So it can fit two nano SIM cards, four micro SD cards, three regular SD cards. And on the back, we have three CF Express type A or B, depending on the variant you need. So with a USB-C cable, like neatly tucked away in here, you have everything you need for storing and transferring your, your data when you're out in, on the go. Thanks PGY Tech for sponsoring this POV video. Well, let's go. Like the sun is peeking through very nicely here. Look at that. And these trees are freaking huge. Pretty cool. You can see it great it and hear it, but uh, as soon as I switch lenses, they always appear. That's uh, an interesting thing. There it is. I shouldn't switch lenses. He's really checking me out. <laughs> There's a cold tit. Nice. Why did I switch lenses? <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't done that. But if I decide to switch back, they will disappear in a second. I'm 100% sure about that. I think I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna get up to try to get this kind of S-curve on a shot somehow. Ooh, ooh, almost fell. Okay. There's the great tip again. <laughs> they really have a temperament. <laughs> I wonder how close we can go with the lens. Ooh, that's pretty close. We have focus right there. Okay, if we get the... I really, really like the colors on these leaves. They're very print friendly. Wow. That's very cool. Well, so there's supposed to be a viewpoint on a little mountain or what do you call it? A hill, a cliff or something. And I've never been there, so I'm going to try to find a way there. That looks cool. Yeah. Look at that.
I really like that. There is a path up here, so I think I'm gonna just follow that first. Oh, this looks nice. That is very nice. Well, I see an arrow pointing upwards. <laughs> that might be the trail. I'm starting to get a glimpse of the ocean here. Nice. Well, that is a view. I see some birds. I'm actually going to switch lenses. Oh, we have on the top right there. there. No. Oh no, I missed it. Well, we got some views going on though. I can actually feel the heat of the sun. That is rare nowadays <laughs> i'm gonna get down again on the way back try to find a dipper again because now the sun is higher up in the sky and uh we'll probably have a bit more light in there so i just saw the dipper again happy with that. Nice. Isn't that a fantastic way to end the video? Thanks for coming along on the little hike. And uh, I had a great time. I'm very, very impressed by the A6700, but I'm gonna talk more about it in a separate video and how I think it performs for wildlife photography. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.